it was a most unusual day. From the west, a cold front, riding in high on the jet stream. From the Gulf of Mexico, a low mass of moist, warm, unstable air heading northward. And when they collided, it became the day of the killer tornadoes. From early morning, the weather service warnings were out. From the Gulf to the Canadian border. At 9.30 in the morning, the first tornado touches down in an open field in Indiana. By early afternoon, as the turbulence grows, the watches and warnings are coming thick and fast. Tornadoes are hitting Tennessee, Georgia, Ohio, two in Illinois, two more in Indiana. Another sighted near Hardinsburg, Kentucky, heading toward Brandenburg, a sleepy little river town 25 miles southwest of Louisville. At the radio station, just west of town, announcer Bill Byrne receives a telephone call telling of its coming. second shout and in 30 seconds 31 people will die in louisville upriver an alarm sounds in the newsroom at whas the local emergency broadcast station jeff we got a tornado warning give me the emergency action carton A tornado warning has been issued for part of Kentuckiana. WHAS now transmits a tone to activate special receivers. The severe thunderstorm warning has been changed to a tornado warning for Metro Louisville, Jefferson County, including Meade... Hurst, In the sky above, Dick Gilbert, the station's airborne traffic reporter, is already keeping watch. We do have a pretty uh, wild and rugged uh, weather picture on our hands here, so uh, be prepared for it as you're driving. Let's see here. I don't actually physically see the, uh, any tornado activity at the moment, but it does look highly suspicious down there in the southwest. Fire department. This is Dave Rees at the weather station. We have a tornado reported on the ground in the Brandenburg vicinity. And it's headed toward Louisville. So we think the siren should be activated at the present time. Okay, hit the yellow alert. Fire Department, yes, it's tornado warning. Turning to the list for further instructions. Well, it's a spectacular sight. Uh, the low clouds, very black low clouds. Uh, let's see. At the moment, they're just about over Bowman Field, out, and it is swirling around, and uh, it looks like uh, smoke underneath it. There is no real tight, uh, definitive tornado as such. It's still turning in a lot. Yes, there's one now. Okay, John Burke is on the phone at this time. John, I understand that you've got the tornado sighted there. But here comes the wind. We're hitting winds up the good gracious sakes alive. How high is the wind speed at this time? There's 50 right there. By golly, the whole thing is going here. Yeah, I'm going, going. Okay. The huge funnel touches down at the state fairgrounds south of the city, then heads direct for downtown. WHAS TV, head cameraman Bert Broman grabs his camera and runs for the roof. The storm roars through just east of the central business district of Louisville, then swings northeast and begins smashing the suburbs. 90 miles northeast at the Cincinnati airport. This is Cincinnati weather. Well, Hamilton County Radio. Go ahead with your traffic. The Versailles, Indiana says he's, uh, he's just been picking up uh, numerous reports. The funnel's dipping up and down. Attention all cars and departments and all county broadcast. Macaron, Cincinnati, Hamilton County Civil Defense. The national warning system alerts Leora Macaron, the county civil defense director. Civil defense, the weather service. What is the location of the tornado? 13 miles southwest of Greater Cincinnati Airport. Moving toward the northeast, 50 miles per hour. Okay, I'm going to sound the sirens.
This is not a test. This is an For the first time in 17 years, the civil defense sirens are sounding in earnest. At WCKY, the local emergency broadcast station. The National Weather Service says it has sighted a tornado near the greater Cincinnati airport. Here is the National Weather Service with the latest report. It is a foul cloud. It looks to be about 200 feet off the ground. No, now it is touching the ground. What is it doing now? Heading directly toward Hamilton County. This bandwidth tornado that's uh, just southwest of the city now, it's going to go up the west side of the city and through the northwest side of the city. Quickly, the emergency operating center is manned by civil defense and members of the Hamilton County Disaster Council, representing police, fire, sheriff's office, rescue, the Red Cross, the Greater Cincinnati Hospital Association, and the Academy of Medicine. Attention all cars be part of this station on emergency traffic only. Hit with emergency, go ahead. We have spotted a tornado in Green Township. It is really big. A huge funnel rips across the Ohio River, passes just west of Cincinnati, roars on through Hamilton County. Straight toward the bridge on the road. You can see debris and flying through the air over here. 913, 914, we have a touchdown, 5800 west okay. for extensive damage. People screaming for help. <laughs> Weather Service office at Dayton Airport. Hey, could you broadcast this in a hurry? Tornado warning is in effect for Montgomery and Greene counties until 5 p.m. this evening. Radar report indicates a possible tornado is sighted 25 miles northeast of Cincinnati. Be moving to the northeast at approximately 50 miles an hour. Roger, let's try the 25 miles to see what At Wright Patterson Air Force Base, the commanding general, Herbie Jarvis, is checking the storm on the radar scope. And it's moving up to the uh, Billbrook area at this time. Well, I'm concerned about an aircraft that's inbound from Chinoo. Uh Can we circumnavigate, get him in the right path, or should we divert him? In the newsroom at station WHIO, weatherman Gil Whitney is watching his radar. That's what I think it is. We better do something about it, Skip. Cameras to the studio. Cameras to the studio. Here's a weather bulletin from WHIO's Insta Weather Radar Station. Insta Weather Radar now shows a tornado developing in northeastern Warren County. Let's take a look at it. At 50 miles, the tornado is indicated by that strong echo to the southeast corner of the center of the screen. That familiar six hook now developing off the bottom of that tornado, uh, that uh, thunderstorm rather. The tract apparently is taking it from northeastern Warren County into southeastern Montgomery County into central Greene County. 
at Centerville Police Station, 10 miles south of Dayton. Units, there's been a funnel cloud sighted in the south part of the township. Start running your sirens and your loudspeakers. Attention all cars, departments, agencies, Montgomery County. A funnel cloud has been spotted in Washington Township, Montgomery County.